was is that there still is an un inborn understanding of the qualities of leather in terms of touch, feel and smell. And they understand, consumers, that they do still uh, get value for money and quality out of leather. But an awful lot of attempts have been made to sell very low grade leather or different types of coated leather that have confused the consumer and damaged the brand image of leather. Household furniture has been one of the major sectors where problems have been created. And we're going to have to start measuring the market penetration of leather. It's a complicated figure. And a lot of this is all going to be depending on tanners keeping quality up as far as possible and building quality characteristics even into low-grade leather. And finally, it does appear that the reputation of our science is being damaged by claims that any leather that's not being chrome tanned is therefore green, touched only by natural materials and the like. And our top scientists at the moment tell us that in terms of the whole life cycle, chromium still probably remains the best tannage for the environment as long as the end of life issues are dealt with. And so it's only for short-term market gain that we're getting these claims that we call greenwash that are damaging our industry by confusing the consumer. And they need to be challenged. And it is interesting that we do have now a strong discussion going on in our industry worldwide of a campaign to promote to consumers, to fashion schools, to designers, the value of quality leather and quality leather articles under the name of Leather Naturally. And one of the elements which is important in this is going to be consumer research. You in this conference are going to be looking at innovation. Innovation when you're dealing with consumer products has its greatest success when it comes out of an understanding of who your consumers are and what they expect. Consumer products need to meet real customer needs. Current and obvious needs but also latent and incipient needs. And if you don't know who your customers are, if you don't continuously research who your customers are, and since the beginning of the recession, any large-scale research done before the recession needs to be redone now. And if you don't know who your customers are, your innovations, I think, will fail. Thank you very much.